Daniel, the Pirates are coming off of a men's tennis split down in Oregon. Um, a close victory at Linfield on Saturday and then uh, a setback at Lewis and Clark on Sunday. Uh, take us back through the weekend, uh, what we take out of it that we can build on, what we uh, need to improve on. Sure. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, like you said, close at Linfield. Um, some of the... Uh, some of the guys just weren't quite in the matches like they usually are this weekend. Um, there was just kind of a, a little bit of a, a lapse in our energy and our, our preparedness. Um, so Linfield, I mean, it, it almost got away from us. So, you know, obviously good we came out with the win, but um, definitely could have gone the other way very easily uh, if, if a couple of things don't go our way. Um, and I think that kind of carried into the Lewis and Clark match. It, it didn't feel like a, um, you know, convincing win the day before. And I think people were still kind of feeling that the following day. So, um, you know, doubles has been kind of a strength of ours this season. And uh, Lewis and Clark, we went down 1-2 after doubles. So, so that was tough. And then only got one singles win out of it. So... You know, the I think the biggest takeaway is just we obviously still have a lot to work on. Um, our you know, our, our level of preparation going into these matches just needs to be better. We we need to be um, just more ready to go when the matches start. We we still have a lot of uh, pretty slow starts across the board, so we just we just need to be getting into our matches quicker and, and just be, you know, ready to compete regardless of who we're playing. I, I think are the the biggest takeaways there. Do you feel like you have a little bit of a break now before your next counting match? Do you yeah. feel like now, okay, we need to take this time and, and work on some of these things that you're talking about? It's a good opportunity to step back from competition and reset uh, our, our mindset going into our next competition? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, so, yeah, we get, you know, this weekend we have no matches, and then we have, um, uh, you know, Bellevue Community College before we go on spring break. So, you know, hopefully Bellevue's kind of a tune-up uh, before we get back to, um, you know, competition. Then we have four D3 matches over spring break, which is great. Um, and, yeah, you know, the, the biggest thing, like, it's nice to have a week off, or a weekend off, I should say. Um, and we can just, I mean, really get back to, you know, anybody who's not feeling a specific part of their game. Like, we have a lot of time to work on that. Um, just get a lot of reps and and just you know try to get our minds right. Um, uh, I'm ultimately hoping this is a kind of a sobering uh, result from this past weekend. Um, that you know we were confident coming in that these would be two relatively um, you know routine wins, and that that is not how it turned out. So hopefully this is a little bit of a wake up call for us, and um, we uh, you know we have three conference matches left at the beginning of April, and those will be hugely important for us to make the conference tournament. So, yeah, hopefully we just get our minds right uh, over the next couple weeks.